Good evening, Sadu Wow. Good evening, Yeah, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you too? I'm doing good. Okay. Where are you? Are you home? Yeah, I'm home in in Upper West Region. Okay. I'm sure you watched uh, the game between Kotoko and then House of Folk uh, la last weekend. Uh, sorry. I couldn't watch the match because I was on assignment uh, as a match commissioner. But uh, I watched the footage. Okay, you are, uh, you, morning. Okay, you 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 you've, you've, you've gotten some of the videos and then the pictures, eh? Yes, please. Okay, you have watched them. Yeah. Okay, what will be your declaration on this? Uh, thank you very much, and uh, your listeners. What will be my decision? First, I will have to maybe explain for us to understand what a challenge is and uh, how. Challenges are made to be as found. As simple as him. We have a fair tackle. Then we have challenges in the reckless manner. Challenges in the reckless manner and also challenges using the force. Now, the footage I've watched. Uh, as far as the incident is concerned on the uh, safety, I will say that there was a contact made by the as defender on the Kotoko attacker. Now, if contact was made, how was the contact made? That is where we have to look at. Now, was the was the contact made you were uh, in a careless fear or reckless man? Now, when it comes to penalty area, you also look and consider the referee's position, its angle of view, as far as the incident is concerned. And if you look at the referee's position, he was closer to the incident. Kenny Party, and uh, his angle of view was so clear, and, and I think that is why the foul there he awarded the penalty because I saw the contact with the left foot of the pass defender on the foot of the Kotoko attacker, and again there was also a pull, the hand to the to the, to the to the attackers head. It's just unfortunate that uh, I'm a discussion. He's the man. There was no the, 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 the replay. Did not bring all the angles. But the angles that I a simple FM. The, there was a foot on foot in a careless marker in the penalty area, and I go free for a penalty. It takes uh, a courageous such as uh, study to take such a decision in such crucial hour. Okay, I've read some circulars uh, uh, of uh, officiating which talks about a tackle or a challenge that endangers the safety of an opponent or uses excessive force or brutality must be sanctioned as a serious foul in in play. Uh, do you yeah. consider this as one of these serious fouls? No, no, no. That's why I said it, it has great. Once it's a careless manner, it, 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 it doesn't warrant any sanction. But it's a foul on right. But when, it, when, it, when, it, uh, when you use reckless, endangering the safety of your opponent in a reckless manner, that one, it goes with a sanction. And if it is the use of excessive for now, as far as penalty area things are concerned, once you use a certain force uh, in challenging for the ball, now it has to go with a soccer before the sanction will have to reduce because the player was challenging for the ball. But when it is the challenge is use of hand, now you consider 
the yellow card to be the red when it's using excessive force or preventing an obvious goal scoring opportunity by challenging the hand either by pulling, pushing, or holding the opponent. This is the top one goes to the fight. A simple the FM. Okay, okay. I, 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 I just listened to the interview uh, made by uh, Fabio Gama. He also explained that uh, it was just a touch, but he was intelligent on that occasion. Can we also classify that as he, uh, dramatizing? Well, you say it's dramatizing. Uh, as far as that is concerned, we also look at the uh, stimulation situation. Did the players stimulate it? Because if the stimulation was 100% sure that no contact was made, then he dramatized 100% stimulation. But here, there was a contact. But if he is saying that the uh, thought and all that is well, but in the referee's opinion, uh, by, 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 by that challenge, challenge I don't think the referee is wrong. Okay, okay. Uh, it's unfortunate that you didn't watch the full match. I wanted to ask you uh, how you assess Kennedy Paddy, the referee on that occasion. Yeah, in fact, unfortunately, I want to be in our be of friends because I did not watch them. Looking at this back and forth with uh, the situation, a penalty situation in Ghana, will you advocate that the FA should quickly uh, work on getting a VAR? Video assistant referee for Premier League in Ghana? Uh, to help if that can happen, it will help our game. And uh, let us also not forget the fact that even with the VAR, well, there are human beings that also uh, of this machine. And uh, it will be very helpful for our referees if they put it in place. And our league will be very... A simple FM. Okay. I want to leave you now. Do you have any other thing you want to say? Uh, well, uh, I don't have other thing except that I uh, oh, thank you for your good uh, You are all stakeholders to the development of football in Ghana. Uh, you can also assist to uh, improve the game as far as wrestling is concerned. Well, sometimes when we listen to uh, commentators, uh, uh, it becomes discouraging. That is sometimes it becomes discouraging because uh, some, excuse me to say, have passes, and they don't always go with the referee's decision. Meanwhile, we think that we should be well. Said in this to explain more to the public to understand. Okay. Retired FIFA referee said Bomisin, thank you for opening up with us. Thank you very much. Okay. In the, uh, FIFA referee said Bomisin, and then Kowanetian Savannah. I think it's a very wonderful explanation of yeah. Savannah uh, from the.